Hey guys, quick heads up before I start the video, the link down below takes you to my Patreon where you can download the project files for this video. Also gain access to my premium tutorials and in-depth courses where we build games together from start to finish. Check out my Patreon below, gain direct access to years of experience so that you can start working on your dream game tomorrow. Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of my multiplayer bean battle royale tutorial series. So in the last video we set up our kill feed and in the video before that we worked on something like the health bar and damage. And in this video I want to cover something about that health bar whenever we package our game in standalone. So first of all I want to take a quick look here at the game. So when we press play we see that health bar here at the bottom of our screen which is properly initialized. And then whenever we play with two players, so two players with a listen server and then hit play. Then we see that both the server on the right and the little client on the left also have their health bar properly initialized. Uh, and if they kill themselves, we see that their health bar actually properly removes. Uh, so that works well. We see the little kill feed popping up, which we made in the last video. So there we go. But then uh, there is one thing in Unreal Engine, uh, which causes that when you package the game, that the health bar on the clients does not initialize properly. And in this video, I want to take a look at that and basically fix it and also explain why that occurs in the package build versus, so packaged with package build. I mean, when you actually package a build, so you click over here, you go to windows and then click package uh, project. And a packaged build is essentially the same whenever you test in standalone here. So you can either test in your editor or in standalone. And there is a difference when testing your game in editor versus standalone. And the big difference is, is that when we take a look at all of these core classes that we use in our project, such as the game mode, the player controller, the, the pawn, uh, then these classes initialize differently in the editor versus in package. And, and the reason being is that when in editor and we uh, test here with a listen server and the client and directly hit play then we are immediately connected and these classes boot up in such a fast way that everything works properly but in a real standalone session you would basically have some guy hosting a session and then some other guy joining that session uh, a bit later and because that player joins it later uh, things occur and classes also in standalone basically need to start up so all these classes got like a boot up period and then where this is going wrong right now so if we package our game tested with two computers Computers, where it goes wrong is that the health bar on the client does not initialize and set up properly. So let's go ahead and take a look at why that happens. So first of all, we know that if we take a look here at our game modes folder and then gameplay and then player controller, then we know that this player controller is responsible for creating our HUD widget. So we set it up in this series that this one here basically includes a health bar by default here. And then we know that the health bar is basically set up whenever the player controller class uh, fires off to begin play. So the player controller class goes off of begin play. Then on the local player, it creates the widget, adds it to the screen. At that point, the hood comes into our screen. The hood then contains the health bar. And at that point, the health bar comes into our screen. And then what we see is that if we go to the graph here, and then actually go to the event graph, then here in the health bar widget itself, we see that we got these functions that are bound to this character reference and set up in that way. So how is this reference of the character set up? Because that is basically where our issue lies, the way that this basically gets set. And if this is not properly set, that means that this reference is invalid, which means that your, uh, your health bar here basically does not properly initialize and shows us the wrong values. And that is exactly what is going wrong whenever you currently package the game in standalone. So to fix that, what we're going to have to do is that we're going to find our core character because from this core character, we basically initialize here on, on begin play. We initialize our health bar and then we cast to our player controller and then basically set up that reference of the character inside of that widget for the health bar. So uh, how come that this reference does not get set properly? Well, in short, basically what occurs is that your character gets spawned instantly since it is the default class of the game mode. And then the player controller has not properly set up the UI yet. Uh, and this does not occur when testing in the editor yet again, because everything happens faster and at the same time in the editor. So uh, both the server is ready at the same time that the client is ready and these classes start up. But then when packaging, what we notice is that the character 
spawns before the actual player controller on the local client is properly set up. So basically, since the character spawns but the player controller has not fully initialized yet, then what we understand is that this cast here can fill on begin play in the character. So basically, the character fires this, but then it says our player controller casting to that is not valid yet. Or it would say the hood is not valid yet. Or it would say the health bar is not valid yet. And at that point, we see that we do not handle this cast filled. So in the case that the, that the character is basically ready before the player controller is ready with setting up this UI, this simply goes off of a cast filled and then the character never gets set up inside of the widget and thus your health bar will never work. So what we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to uh, fill safe all of the these options here so that we can guarantee that everything works. So one quick way to do that is if we were to put a little delay in between here. Now we are inside of a function. You cannot put delays inside of functions since they simply execute once. But if we were to put a little delay here, then all of our classes have proper time to initialize. But then working with simple delays such as putting a one second delay is tricky because we do not know the hardware of the client. So we do not know the hardware of the client and that means if we hard code this to one second then uh, it might be the case that after one second this still has not been properly set up so we somehow now need to validate whether or not we can actually communicate to this health bar already and to do that we can basically go off of the cast field when the cast field is not the case where the problem lies then we should validate whether it is the hood and then if the hood is not the case where we basically go wrong, then we should validate whether it is perhaps our health bar where the issue lies. And there we go. So right now, if we were to basically fix this issue, we see that there's three fill gates where Reboot would basically have to solve this. So this is kind of an annoying way to basically set this up. So an easier way to then do this is to type in get all widgets class and then not on the top level only so turn this one off here we are going to just straight up be searching for the health bar widget instead of doing all of these casts because now we got three ways where we could basically fill and that's where we would have to do something like a delay to keep looping it a delay to keep looping it a delay to keep looping it all the way until we see that we do not go off of the wrong and go off of the valid and properly set the reference also in our standalone game which is a bit behind compared to the editor so an easier way to replace all of this logic first of all would then be to just straight up in here select our health bar so over here we can see the health bar widget and then we can simply say get a copy of index zero so we know that we only find one health bar per local client because ui only exists locally so you do not have all of the uh, so since we here check if we are locally controlled, then we can know as the client that we do not basically also fetch the UI for all of the other characters that exist inside of the world. So when we check here inside of the event graph, off of begin play, we see we locally attempt this. Uh, and that is basically where we can make this difference here. So what are we going to do? Well, first of all, we're going to now be removing this logic. We're going to be taking this little part here, but we're also we can also remove that because we're going to get use it in a little bit. We are going to disconnect the is locally controlled and copy paste these two into our event graph. So this function that we made in it help bar, we're completely going to remove it, and we're also going to remove it here under our functions category. So this function in it help bar can be removed, and then we're simply going to be doing this in the graph because we need to be using something like a delay, which cannot be used inside of functions. So off of begin play yet again, we're going to go is locally controlled and then we're going to go off of the true. So how do we now validate whether or not this health bar is ready for us to actually set that reference on it? Well, what we can simply do is that we can go looking for a health bar. And as soon as we find one at that point, we basically properly set that reference of us as the character so we set that up at that point inside of the health bar widget. So to do that, we can drag off of here and we can type in is not empty. And then if we branch off of here, we can say, so when we are not empty, so when the array of found widgets is not empty, that means a health bar has been found. At that point, we pull. So we basically drag off of here typing get. We get a copy of the health bar at index zero. Now keep in mind, there is only one health bar per player. So index zero will return that health bar for us. And then what we can say is drag off of here. And since this is a hard reference here of the health bar, we can immediately drag off of here and type in set character ref 
which is that reference that we use inside of the health bar to basically have the health bar reading these health values from our character. And then inside of here, we basically ask for this character reference. So if we then drag off of here, we can type in self. And then a simple way to loop this logic is to basically drag off of here and then to type in delay and then delay for 0.2 seconds. And then we would basically do it again. So after the 0.2 seconds, we would look again. So if we did not find anything, so is not empty false, then we basically delay 0.2 seconds and try it again. Now this logic will both work inside of the editor and outside of the editor. And this is the correct logic that is actually ready for when you try to package your game. So there we go. Now that we set data up like this, we could basically convert it into a macro to get it out of our screen again. So then if we right click it all, we can go to convert. We can go to collapse macro. Then we get ourselves this little macro, which we could then rename to something like setup health bar. And there we go. So now we basically fix the health bar to also be ready for the packaged version of our game or also the standalone version of our game. Then if we hit compile and save, then there we go. And we can hit play to test it again. And we see that it properly works. And when we now package the game, it will also properly work inside of the standalone version of the game. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It's a short one today. I got home a bit late. And in the next video, we're going to start working on actually shooting and setting up the guns and looting. So I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.